My name's Dennis Crompton. Um, I'm one of the directors of Norman Walsh Footwear here in Bolton. The company was founded in 1961 by Norman Walsh himself. He was a, a genuine person. And then in 1996, when he retired at the age of 65, we bought the company. Uh, my brother and myself has worn his shoes since the late 70s. Um, we liked the shoes so much we bought the company. Uh, we hand cut everything in bolt. Well, we used a machine to cut the materials, then we saw the uppers and then they made into shoes, quality controlled and then boxed up. Yeah, all the shoes are designed in Bolton, we'll look back through the, any archives we have, match new colours and styles and then if we need to hand cut a pair we'll hand cut a pair first to see what it looks like and if it's okay then we'll put it into production here. In terms of styles of shoes, we, we, at the moment we've got about six styles, but with Norman uh, going back to 1961, we have a lot of heritage, so we've not released all the styles yet, and we just looked through all photographs, and he didn't throw anything away, so we've got still got some of the original shoes from the early 60s and 70s, so when we need to do a new style, we just have a look, and we, just, we may just alter it slightly to fit the generation of today. When we, after you know, we manufacture the shoes, uh, we have a few shops in the UK that take the shoes. We have quite a big following in Germany. We deal with Spain. We have a distributor straw li license in Italy. Uh, we sell to Korea, China, and one of our big is the uh, Japan. We haven't given Brexit much thought because when it happens, it will happen. Um, so we'll just have to see then. We don't know if import duty will rise. I can't see it being a massive impact on the UK economy. I still feel that we'll still sell our shoes abroad and it's the made in Britain that they want and they'll, they'll pay a premium.